Did you type this? Do not hope. Observe. Terrible things can happen to you made it very clear that hope can get in the way of action. A true cynic has no luxury for hope, only observation. Ulysses, can you understand me? Holy Bagumba! Can you talk? Okay, that's not really talking, but still! I knew it! The vacuum made you a superhero. It sucked up an unassuming squirrel and spit out a Ulysses. It's evolving. I got it. Oh no. Action. Because I got a tournament to host. You think these guys have been sitting here for 16 hours so that I can talk to Flora the Explorer? What? I locked my keys in the car. Dad! I know, I'm sorry, I... Ulysses? I told you it was a superpower. Uh. No, Ulysses, you only have to hit it once. You ready? Now. Do it now. 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 Ah! Got it. <laughs> Good job, Ulysses. What is this? Your typewriter? I know it's my typewriter. I mean the paper in it. Squirtle, I am Ulysses, born anew. Holy unanticipated occurrences. And there's so many, there's so many different things you can put on it. Do you want me to be already in here? People. People? Say hi. Hi, people. How are you? How is everything? Who do I play with, Hilda? Uh, George. Oh, who is George? Uh, Flora's dad. Who plays Flora? Me. Ooh, bad news. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What's going to happen in this scene? Well, there's going to be a giant donut that falls off of the roof uh -huh. and falls onto a car. And then the whole car gets smashed. And then who's your favorite cast member? Myself. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, Flora, hey, hey, Flora, come here. Hey. Box, wire, sign, falling off. Ah, uh, one second.
Roll it in off the back? Yeah, exactly. Right here, like that. Watch window. That's okay. <laughs> this book, I have to tell you, it changed my life. That's wonderful. Big mark. Big mark. I play Flora, and she's a very brave, smart, kind, really great girl. And I think she's definitely going through some, like, troubles, and she's unsure about a lot of things right now. And she's, she's a, it's a great character. I love Flora so much, and I love playing her. But, you know, yeah, Ulysses comes in, and he pretty much save her, saves her. What's so special about Ulysses' powers is that he's not, like, I think it's very special because he's not, like, saving the world or making this like huge, big life and big difference in the world. But he's really just really helping Flora's family and bringing them back together and giving Flora hope and teaching them that you can never lose hope because Flora is losing hope. And so really he's just helping them through their journey. What I love about Flora so much in Flora's journey is that, you know, she starts, and Flora, means flower. And she starts kind of closed up like a flower in the beginning and kind of opens up. And flower kind of represents her journey as a character. I think you will definitely, definitely look forward to the lessons you'll learn. How you need to hope and how you need to believe and you can't doubt things, you know? Yeah, I think it'll definitely teach you a lot of great lessons. And you'll definitely enjoy it because it's very funny. Flora, played by Matilda Lawler. Uh, what's interesting is that she's playing a 10-year-old, but she's playing it in a way that she has such an adult point of view, and the way that she sees the world is so unique and exciting. And through her and her vision of what she sees the world and through this magical squirrel, the superhero squirrel that she finds, um, hope kind of comes back into this family's life. And that hope kind of brings the family back together. But it's so fun because you get to see the change in all the characters. Like my character at the beginning is a little bit sadder. And after he sees all this hope and magic that's in the world, his life blossoms, you know what I mean? And with that, you know, his, his wife Phyllis played uh, by Allison, it's... It's such, a, it's such a fun thing to watch this family kind of be at an impasse and not know what to do and have so, much, so many questions. And then through this incredible daughter, uh, Flora, and through this magical squirrel, the superhero-like squirrel, uh, all these magnificent things happen. I play a character named George Buckman. I play the father of Flora, who in the book uh, is not in it quite that much, but uh, Brad Copeland write, wrote this great script where uh, George and Phyllis are... You know, uh, George Phyllis uh, and Flora 
it really follows the story of them and William Spiver, which is gorgeous. Um, and my character was used to write uh, his own comics, but never really had what it takes to publish them, whether it's that he was afraid that he was going to fail or he just didn't believe in himself. Um, and so that imagination is so ingrained in his daughter and the way of thinking and the way this, you know, building your own world is so ingrained in Flora that it's great to see it passed down from generation to generation. But um, even though I start off as feeling like I'm kind of being beaten by the world, in the end I feel like I'm triumphant and people understand me and really connect with me finally, which is exciting. Danny plays Miller and he plays the animal control gentleman who is worried that Ulysses has rabies and wants to capture him and wants to take care, like, you know, to get rid of the problem and figure out the problem. And he can't quite understand that this is a magic squirrel and that this is something we need and da da da, da. So he's play. it's incredible. And Danny gets to show off all of his like physical comedy stuff. And it, it's, he's such a funny human and a funny actor. And he gets to really go crazy in this. Uh, he's awesome in this. I can't wait for people to see it. Lena Khan is directing this film uh, and she's been fantastic and wonderful. And one of the great things about Lena is that she has a complete vision. She's also, she works her butt off. She wants this to be as good as we want this to be. She has really put everything she has into this. And you can see it every day and she's collaborative and she has, she's able to keep her vision but also be collaborative with the actors and also the thousands of different departments that are coming after you uh, each moment. And so uh, it's inspiring to watch her work and it's a big moment for her and I really want it. I think we're really excited um, because she's nailing it and she's putting together a really exciting, fun movie uh, and she's putting her stamp on it, which makes it, you know, like what makes it feels like a Lena movie. And for this to be one of her first projects, you know what I mean? It's a big undertaking and she's really doing it, man. She's really coming to play, so it's very exciting. It's the story of, of this, this girl and her family is at this, this crossroads. It's sort of all crumbling and, um, and she's losing, losing hope and um, uh, uh, upon chance, a squirrel comes into her life that somehow has these incredible superpowers due to a, a freak accident with a vacuum. Matilda, oh, Matilda plays, uh, plays Flora and she is just phenomenal. She is so wonderful and, and just the talent. Oh, she's so fantastic. Um, they, they, they just struck gold with Matilda. Ulysses is this incredible squirrel that just has, I think, even more powers than we know. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, first of all, it's adorable. So he's the, he's the power of cuteness. <laughs> and uh, I mean, he, he's got incredible strength. He can write poetry and um, he is generous. He likes candy. And um, yeah, and a uh, great listener. Uh, I mean, he's, he's like the friend everyone should have, really. I'm hoping that uh, the audience gets to to really enjoy the characters and to to sort of to feel like they see a little bit of themselves in hopefully each of the characters and um, to enjoy their adventures and to feel and to root for them and to you know to just have have their experiences be something that 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 they enjoy and and want to watch over and over and over
there's a girl called Flora, and she saves this squirrel. And she was a cynic before, and this squirrel turns out to be a superhero, and it's like the story of the adventures of them together, and it's like bringing her family back together, and she becomes less of a cynic, and by the end it's a really happy story. The director is called Lena Khan, and she's really creative in, in like how she wants the scene to feel. She always talks us through what she wants before every scene, and she's just really nice to work with, and she's always like having a laugh here and there. It's really nice. I play the villain. Surprise. I play Miller, but I'm not a villain. Miller's just trying to keep everybody safe. He is uh, Maroon and Coney Animal Control. That's right. Miller has a sort of checkered past. In the past, a town has been ravaged by a raccoon. Didn't go so well for me. And so I'm trying to um, seek some redemption for that. Um, and because my job is to keep the town safe, if there's any kind of abnormal behavior from animals. I'm trying to rein them in, right? And any animal that could run full speed downhill on a tree should be feared. Phyllis is played by Alison Hannigan. She's incredible, so funny. Watching her and Ben Schwartz work together, just a, such a fun, natural couple who are able to sort of mine these great comedic moments, but also being so grounded and so real. It's been just really cool for me to watch. Um, she's so funny, I've always loved her and everything, and I was a big fan of How I Met Your Mother and among other things, but um, yeah, it was cool, and so it's just been fun to be part of this this cast that I've admired um, largely because of their comedic abilities, and just to see everybody and their range in this movie has been it's been really fun. Each of us are are doing something that we haven't done before, which I think is pretty cool. You're gonna love this movie. It's um, super sweet. It's got something for everybody. Like I said, there's this awesome relationship between the parents trying to figure out their relationship. Um, which is great for adults to relate to. Um, Flora has this amazing relationship, not only with Ulysses, but also with Ben. So there's this awesome sort of coming of age story happening as, as well. And then there's Miller time over here, baby. I'm just trying to figure it all out. Are you gonna like me? Because obviously I'm sexy. So there's something for everybody. Flora, when you first meet her, has just gone through a little bit of trauma in her, in her own life, which is that her parents recently separated. So you had a girl who's smart, she's innovative, she loves comic books, and this is just some months after her parents got separated, and now she has become a true blue cynic. She has, she reads a book called Terrible Things Can Happen to You. She knows how to do CPR. She is set and she's trying to, she's like Andy Dufresne in the Shawshank Redemption telling Red like hope is a bad thing. <laughs> That's Flora when we meet her until Ulysses comes into her life and shows her, you know what? Maybe, maybe you can give hope just one more chance and you might see something you didn't think was out there. Flora's played by Matilda Lawler who after doing a international search for, with more than a thousand kids, we found her, and I cannot imagine anybody else playing Flora. She will probably win an Oscar one day, or if not, she is that level of actress. Um, she has incredible intu intuition. You can't treat her like a child, and you shouldn't because her skills are like an adult. Um, and she has a huge heart, and she knows how to do subtleties and humor and soul. She's amazing. Phyllis is played by Alison Hannigan, and everybody loves Alison Hannigan, <laughs> and she brings a certain spunk to the role. If Phyllis is supposed to have bohemian flair, she has that and an extra level of spunk and vivaciousness, and she makes Phyllis, who's an enemy in the book, really a human character that we can relate to who's going through so much stress, and that drives why she makes, drives the decisions that she has. George is played by Ben Schwartz, who at the same time has this giant heart and an incredible capability, capability for improv humor. And so we just milk that as much as we possibly could. And so when we say, Ben, this is your time to be funny, he just elevates it to a level that 
we couldn't imagine from any other actor right now. We've had so much fun with him. Futureprevews.com. Go behind the scenes of movies. Subscribe to Future Flicks YouTube channel.